Inshallah, we will try to finish the tafsir. يعني مختصر التفسير of سيدنا ابن كثير. It is not. We're just trying to go over the meaning of the words for for us who are most of us recite this juz amma. So, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. So we we finished in anzalnahu fi laylat al Qadr. May Allah subhanahu wa taala grant you and grant us to be from those who receive the gifts of laylat al Qadr. Insha Allah. Amin. Bijah al Nabi al Amin. Ma dalik ala ala Allah bi Aziz. We hope that Allah subhanahu wa taala dress us with that dress of honor of worshiping Him for eighty three years in one night. And uh, we reach Surah Al Bayina. In this Surah, which was revealed in, in Medina, this is in Juz Amma. Most of the Surah in, of Juz Amma have been Madadi Awliya Allah, Ainuna Bi Aulla, Wa Kunu Aulla Lana Billa Asalah Wa Fadlila. Madadi Rijal Allah. Allah Min Naudu Bika Nushika Bika Shay'a Wa Nahnu Nala Wa Mustaghfiru Kalima Lana Nala. The majority of uh, the Surah have been in Juz Amma, are have were revealed in Mecca. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad except Surah Al-Nasr and Surah Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad Al-Bayyina the rest of them are Madani and this Surah Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Imam Ahmad recorded that from Sayyidina Anas bin Malik said that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to Ubay bin Ka'b one of the main companions of Prophet ﷺ and those who safeguarded the Qur'an. They were carrying the entire Qur'an, Sayyidina Ubay bin Ka'b. He said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, إِنَّ اللَّهِ أَمَرَنِي أَنْ أَقْرَأَ عَلَيْكَ لَمْ يَكُنِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ But Allah ordered me to recite to you the this surah, chapter 98, Al-Bayyina. And Sayyidina Ubay said, did he mention me by name, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He said, yes, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Sayyidina Ubay bin Ka'ab was crying. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. لَمْ يَكُنِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ آلِ الْكِتَابِ وَالْمُشْرِكِينَ مُنْفَكِّينَ حَتَّى تَأْتِيَهُمُ الْبَيِّنَ رَسُولٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ يَتْلُوا صُحُفًا مُطَهَّرًا فِيهَا كُتُبٌ قَيِّمًا وَمَا تَفَرَّقَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَتْهُمُ الْبَيِّنَ وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ حُنَفَاءَ وَيُقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَيُؤْتُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَذَلِكَ دِينُ الْقَيِّمَةِ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is informing us that the people of the scripture, the Jews and the Christians and the idolaters that they're not going to give up they're not going to be finished they're not going to leave any of this meaning of munfakkin until the holy quran until there came to them al bayina al bayina is the holy quran that those who disbelieve from among the people of the scripture were not going to leave until there came to them al bayina the holy quran and And it, or another meaning of al bayina is Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, because Allah in the next verse says, the Rasulun min Allah yatlu suhufa mutahara. A messenger from Allah that recites to them scrolls that are pure, mutahara. Which is... Uh, رسول من الله يتلو صحفا مطهرة في صحف مكرمة مرفوعة مطهرة. إن الله مسلي على سيدنا محمد that scrolls that are honored scrolls purified and high. فيها كتب قيمة. In these scrolls you find precious books. سيدنا ابن جرير says that that the purified Pages are books from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that are 
upright, that are righteous, that are straight. There's no mistakes in them because they are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا تَفَرَّقَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَأَتْهُمُ الْبَيِّنَةِ And the people of the scripture did not differ amongst them until the bayina, until the Prophet with, with the Qur'an came to them. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. And here the author is informing us through a hadith that, that Prophet Sallallahu said that the Jews will defer will split into 70 different groups and the the christians will split into 72 71 and 72 and that this ummah will split on uh, on 73 uh, groups all of them in hellfire except one and they asked him which one he says Ma ana alayhi wa ashabi. he said those who keep my way, what I am upon, and what my companions keep. And this is the importance of following a path of Ahl Sunnah that has a living tariqa, tasawwuf, that has a living link from our time all the way to Prophet Muhammad's time, to the companions, to the tabi'een, that one from one learned from each other. Because Prophet ﷺ said, the only people who will be safe, saved are those who are upon what I am upon and what my companions are upon. And, and they differed between them, the, uh, the unbelievers and, and also between the people of the book. When, when the Holy Qur'an was revealed to them, when Prophet ﷺ brought them the message. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ what did we send them in the book? What, what are we asking them to do? We are only ordering them to worship Allah and to be sincere and to worship Him solely, alone, without partners. وَمَا حُنَفَاء Following the pure way of Tawheed, of believing in Allah. وَيُقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ And they perform their prayer. وَيُؤْتُ zakat And they give their charity. And that is the righteous religion, and that is the true religion, and that is the upright religion, whatever adjectives you want to add. Hmm? Then the next portion of the surah, فِيهَا <laughs> رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه ذلك لمن خشي ربه that those who disbelieved from the people of the book and from the polytheists they will end up in the hellfire eternally and these are the worst in creation شر البرية the worst of people the worst of creatures جزاؤهم أن اللهم صل أولئك هم شر البرية and the إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات those who believe and do good deeds أولئك هم خير البرية they are the best of Allah's creation جزاؤهم عند ربهم their reward with their Lord عند ربهم جنات عدن جنات of Eden heavens not جنة عدن جنات عدن تجري من تحتها الأنهار Below them, below these paradises, are rivers flowing, eternally uh, existing in these heavens. خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أَبَدًا رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ And this, this is, this is the, the highest honor attainable by any human being, not just to enter heaven, but to be told رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ وَرَضُوا عَنْهُمْ And then they, Allah is pleased with them. And, and they are pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They will be pleased with Allah, and Allah is pleased with them. To attain that station, Ya Rabbi. And who is this station for? ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ خَشِيَ رَبَّهِ That is for the one who fears his Lord, who is conscious of his Lord, who is not uh, uh, lightly thinking about their Creator, who are, revere their Lord.
those are the ones that will attain the station of رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد سورة الزلزلة and here the author every time he mentions a hadith that mentions any of these surahs سورة الزلزلة is chapter 99 and in it he mentions a hadith where a Bedouin came to Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he says teach me something it's easy for me in my old age to recite he said uh, recite uh, from the big surahs in the beginning Alif Lam Ra he says I cannot I'm, I'm old my heart is hardened and my tongue is harsh I cannot then he, Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said recite from the Hamim surahs they're shorter he says no I can't then he said recite from Musabbihat like Sabbih Ismail يُسَبِّحُ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ from these surahs he said I cannot then Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said recite إِذَا زُلْزِلَتِ الْأَرْضُ زِلْزَالَهَا which is very short وَأَخْرَجَتِ الْأَرْضُ وَأَثْقَالَهَا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إِذَا زُلْزِلَتِ الْأَرْضُ زِلْزَالَهَا وَأَخْرَجَتِ الْأَرْضُ وَأَثْقَالَهَا وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا لَهَا يَوْمَئِذٍ تُحَدِّثُ أَخْبَارَهَا بِأَنَّ رَبَّكَ أَوْحَلَاهَا يَوْمَئِذٍ يَصْدُرُ النَّاسُ أَشْتَاتًا لِيُرَوْا أَعْمَالَهُمْ فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَى وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًّا يَرَى That when the earth shakes with earthquakes وَأَخْرَجَتِ الْأَرْضُ أَثْقَالَهَا and and whatever the earth is safe is in it brings it out here the meaning is for when people are uh, when the earth throws out throws forth what is in its belly means those who have been buried in it in another surah Allah says ya ayyuhan nas ittaqu rabbakum inna zalzalata as-sa'ati shay'un azim all people beware of your lord have consciousness of your Lord, be fearful of your Lord, the shaking, the earthquakes of the hour are too much. So this is the in reference when on judgment day the earth shakes and we are resurrected and the earth brings, we are back on, on, on top of the earth instead of its, of its belly. Allah, that there's hadith of Prophet ﷺ, تُلْقِ الْأَرْضُ أَفْلَادَ أَكْبَارِهَا That the earth will throw out, the uh, as if the earth throws up يعني, what's inside, its content. And, and uh, Prophet ﷺ, gold and silver will, will come out like columns. There's so much gold and silver. A murderer will come and say, I killed for this. They will see the gold and say, I killed not feeling sorry I killed for this the one who, who broke the the ties of kinship will say for this I severed the ties of kinship the thief will say for this I got my hands amputated then they will leave they will leave it there and no one will take anything from it then Allah will say وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا لَهَا and the, the human being will see all the treasures and then they will see the Treasures of dunya that they chased their whole life after, that they committed crimes for, that they committed sins for. And they will say, for this I did this. And Allah will say to them, وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا لَهَا means uh, that a human being will wonder, for this, this is what, what, the, what, this is what it was, what I lived for. Meaning he will be baffled, he will be disappointed by how he wasted their, uh, they wasted their lives. يَوْمَئِذٍ تُحَدِّثُ أَخْبَارَهَا On that day, the earth will uh, say its story, will tell its story. Imam Ahmad and Tirmidhi and Abu Nu'man said, uh, recorded a hadith from Sayyidina Abu Huraira. Allahumma say, يَوْمَئِذٍ تُحَدِّثُ أَخْبَارَهَا The Prophet ﷺ said, Do you, أَتَدْرُونَ مَا أَخْبَارَهَا Do you know what are the news that the earth will be telling? فَإِنَّ أَخْبَارَهَا They said, no, Allah and His Prophet knows best. He said, أَخْبَارَهَا أَنْ تَشَدَ عَلَى كُلِّ عَبْدٍ وَأَمَتٍ بِمَا عَمِلْ عَلَى ظَهْرِهَا أَنْ تَقُولْ عَمِلَ كَذَا وَكَذَا يَوْمَ كَذَا وَكَذَا فَهَذِي أَخْبَارُهُ Prophet ﷺ said the news that the earth will be telling is that it will witness on the deeds of every servant, uh, male or female, 
whatever they committed on while they're residing on on earth bianna rabbaka awhalaha because your your lord will inspire it yawma idhin tuhaddithu akhbaraha your lord will inspire it to speak will say to it speak so it will speak yawma idhin yasduru an-nasu ashtata on that day mankind will be scattered in groups ashtata they will be divided into groups those who are destined for misery and those who are destined for happiness يُسْطُرُ النَّاسُ أَشْتَاتًا لِيُرَوْ أَعْمَالَهُمْ and that they may be shown their deeds whoever has done an atom weight of goodness will find goodness whoever has done an atom weight of evil will find evil an atom weight nothing will be lost on Allah so you, you have to believe that's why a person should not belittle uh, refraining and staying away from any small bad deed and should not also stay away and should rush to do any good deeds no matter how small it is we all know the story about the the prostitute who gave a, a thirsty dog some water and for that she entered heaven so everything will be accounted for Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's hadith That uh, Keep hellfire away Even by even by giving something A charity Even if it was not the whole date uh, Fruit Even if it was a portion of the date fruit Keep it Allahumma uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Muhammad Even with a small act like that You might not consider it much To take a piece of date And give it to somebody But it is it might be huge for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it could save you from hells. And Prophet also said, La tu hakirana min al Marufi Shaya Walaw an tu fariga min dalwika fi ina il mustasqi. He said Prophet said, Don't belittle any any deed, no matter how small it is, of good goodness, of helping others, of uh, charity. Don't belittle any anything. Don't say, Ah forget it, it's nothing. Don't say it's nothing. Huh? For you it's nothing. For Allah it might be something big. Prophet Sallallahu said even if so just uh, pouring water for in the in the jug of your brother. The one who wants to drink. Even pouring the act of pouring water. Or to meet your brother and you are you look happy. To see him, and Prophet ﷺ also said, "Ya Mashar and Shah al-Mu'minat, la tahqir najara tu nijara nijaratiha, walau firas nishat." Prophet ﷺ said, "Do not belittle a gift sent to you by your neighbor, even if it is uh, a hoof. You know, imagine they slaughter the 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 sheep, and your neighbor sends you the hoof from the sheep." Uh, even if you get that from them, don't be little. Be happy and thankful and grateful that your neighbor sent you a hoof of a sheep. You make soup from it. Yeah, that's what uh, they used to do. Alhamdulillah. Don't don't say, I can't believe they sent me. <laughs> As people say, you take a gift somewhere or somebody brings you a gift. I can't believe they bring uh, bring us only this. No, Prophet Sallallahu <laughs> even the hoof of a sheep, be happy with it. And in another place, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, that Sayyida Aisha, that she gave a single grave in charity. That a beggar came, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. A beggar came to Sayyida Aisha and she didn't have anything. And she gave them a single grave in charity. And she said, to how much dust is it equivalent?
Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. The Prophet, when somebody, Aisha, Sayyidina Aisha, she gave even what she had, she had a single grape, she gave it and she said that the Prophet used to say, Ya Aisha, Iyaki wa muhaqqarati dhunub, fa inna laha min Allahi taliba. He said, O oh, Aisha, beware of the sins that are belittled, for indeed they will be taken to account. So, on the opposite spectrum, he told Sayyidina Aisha that don't think, oh, this is nothing. You know how people say white lies, it's nothing. Ah, uh, you know, you find sometimes, especially with the sickness of today, the worst sickness of today, spiritual sickness, is backbiting. Ya Allah forgive us of Ya Fu'ana. Is you're angry with somebody, or somebody is angry with somebody, or somebody doesn't like somebody, and you start talking about them. Huh? And and you hear this a lot, where somebody starts to talk about a person, and you say, you say to them, brother or sister, you're backbiting. And they say, no, no, I'm not. I'm just saying what happened. I'm, I'm just saying, but the criteria for backbiting is, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, it's very simple. Prophet ﷺ said that if you cannot speak in front of the person what you are saying behind their back, that is backbiting. Means if you speak in front of them what you're saying behind them, if that's going to upset them, then you are backbiting. So, إِيَّاكُمْ وَمُحَقَّرَاتِ الذُّنُوبِ فَإِنَّهُنَّ يَشْتَمِعْنَ عَلَى رَجْلِ حَتَّى مِلِكِ Prophet ﷺ, don't belittle small bad deeds. They will be collected until they will destroy the eternity of of the man. And we are reaching tafsir of Surah Al-Adiyat. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal-Adiyat ghabha fal-Muriyat qadha. This is the hundredth chapter. Allah swears by the horses, by the steeds. Adiyat ghabha. The ones when they when they're running, they're snorting. That sound they're making. وَالْعَادِيَاتِ ضَبْحَا فَالْمُورِيَاتِ قَدْحَا They are striking sparks of fire when they, with their hoofs when they're running. This is the horses used for, for war. فَالْمُغِيرَاتِ subha And those who are raiding in the morning. فَأَثَرْنَ بِهِ نَقْعَا And those that are raising dust clouds. فَوَسَطْنَ بِهِ جَمْعَ Those that are penetrating the enemy lines. إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لِرَبِّهِ لَكَنُودٍ Verily, the human being is ungrateful to his Lord. And he is his own witness. And he bears witness to this. Human being bears witness to his ingratitude. Uh, and وَإِنَّهُ لِحُبِّ الْخَيْرِ لَشَدِيدٍ And he is very, he loves wealth so much with a vengeance, the shadid, powerful. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, أَفَلَا يَعْلَمُ إِذَا بُعْثِرَ مَا فِي الْقُبُورِ Does he not know when the, when the, when what is in the graves comes out? وَحُصِّلَ مَا فِي الصُّدُورِ And what is in the hearts and the chests is collected. Is made known. In Rabbahum bihim yawma idhin la khabir. Verily, their Lord on that day is well acquainted, knows them well. Hmm. Human being is violent with his love for wealth. This is how they're translating it. Yani, he's excessive. He's transgressive, violent is not, uh, he's, he's, he's uh, addicted, he's excessive, whatever, we all know this uh, by, by example, especially in today's world, people will do anything, they will waste their entire life for collecting wealth, they will, they will sacrifice everything for the collection of wealth, they can sac their morals, they will sacrifice their families, they will sacrifice their uh, countries, they will sacrifice their religion, everything uh, for, for wealth only.
إن ربهم بهم يومئذ لخبير سورة القارعة القارعة وما أدراك ما القارعة يوم يكون الناس كالفراش المبثوث وتكون الجبال كالعهن المنفوش فأما من ثقلت موازينه فهو في عشة راضية وأما من خفت موازينه فأمه هاوية وما أدراك ما هي نار حامية Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing by the Al-Qari'a is one of the names of the Day of Judgment. Qari'a is Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. One's, one of the names of Judgment Day. Allah says, what do you know about Judgment Day? Wa ma adraka ma al-Qari'a. What will happen on that day? People were running around. How 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 do you see the uh, butterflies fluttering everywhere? That's how people will be. يَوْمَ يَكُونُ النَّاسُ كَالْفَرَاشِ الْمَفْثُوثِ Like moths, the moth scattered everywhere. Bewildered. They will be running bewildered, terrified, scared for what they are witnessing, for what Allah has promised, they are witnessing it now, and they will be, some, they will be running all over the place. وَتَكُونُ الْجِبَالُ كَالْعَهْنِ الْمَنْفُوشِ And the earth, the, 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 the mountains, the solid mountains, will look like they are made uh, like cotton. Like when you disperse uh, uh, wool, not cotton. When you disperse wool, they will look like that. They will become like carded wool. Sayyidina Ikrima and Sa'ad bin Jubair, Al Hassan, Qatada, they said, Ihin is wool. Those whose deeds are heavy in the balance, meaning their good deeds, he will be eternally living in bliss. فَهُوَ فِي عِشَةٍ رَاضِيَةٍ وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُ And those whose good deeds are few in the scale فَأُمُّهُ هَاوِيَةٍ That their mother will be هَاوِيَة is hellfire That their mother means they will, they will be That means that they will be falling and tumbling head, head first into the hellfire It's an expression his mother Here is to refer to his brain or his head. فَأُمُّ هَاوِيَ means he will be falling head first into hellfire. It's a metaphor they will fall in, into the fire with their heads first. فَأُمُّهُ هَاوِيَ وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا هِيَ What do you know about hellfire? نَارُ حَامِيَ is scorching fire. Prophet وسلم, said that the fire complained to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and says, Oh my Lord, my fire the fire is my my fire is so hot that it's eating it itself. So grant me to breathe twice, once in the winter and once in the summer. And Prophet said, فَأَشَدُّ مَا تَجِدُونَ فِي الشِّتَاءِ مِنْ بَرْدِهَا So when it breathes in the winter it it breathes freezing cold وَأَشَدُّ مَا تَجِدُونَ so the, the worst time in the winter is from that breath and the worst time of the summer heat is from that breath Allah Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Surah Al-Takathur Alhaakum Al-Takathur Hatta Zurtum Al-Maqabir Kalla Sofa Ta'lamuna Thumma Kalla Sofa Ta'lamun Kalla Lo Ta'lamuna Ilma Al-Yaqeen La Tarawunna Al-Jaheem ثم لا ترونها عين اليقين ثم لا تسألون يوم إذن عن النعيم. 
Allahumma salli ala this is chapter 102 surah takathur that accumulation as we're saying of wealth Allah says we love wealth excessively and we Allah says alhaqum takathur you are distracted he was referring, you are distracting by collecting wealth. The Prophet ﷺ said, had the son of Adam had, لو كان لابن آدم وادم من ذهب That if the, the son of Adam had a gold, had a, had a valley of gold, and he owned a valley of gold, he would desire another. He wouldn't, he wouldn't be satisfied in this hadith. He would say, I wish I had another valley of gold besides this one. And Sayyidina, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad Abdullah bin Abdullah bin Shikr that he said, Allahumma salli, that he came to Prophet and Prophet was saying, Al Hakum al Takathur. You, you, you were distracted with collection. And he says, the son of Adam, he would say, Mali, Mali, my wealth. Son of Adam said, My wealth, my wealth, my money, my money. And Prophet said, And Prophet is saying, What do you have what what do you actually own of your own wealth? You only have what you really own from your wealth is what you eat, what you what you wear, and what you give in charity. That's the only thing you own. The rest you are a custodian. You are only saving it for somebody else. Yeah. So why don't you give it in charity then? Allah. And he said, Prophet Sallallahu that the son of Adam will grow old in age and he, two traits, if he has them, will, will continue to be with him. Al Hirs. Uh, even he, he will reach the age of old age, greed and hope. To get greed for more and hope for more. Kalla sawfa ta'alamu, verily you will know. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, verily you will know twice. Verily, if you know, if you really know, when you really know, when you when you come to know. Verily when when you when you see for your own eye when you know with certainty on judgment day. This is a threat. Sayyidina Hassan al Basri said that, that this is a threat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is threatening the unbelievers. When you come to know, when you see for sure, we'll wait. Let's see, let's see what happens. Then you will see with your own eyes the hellfire, the blaze. The blazing hell you denied, you will see it with your own eyes. Then you will see it with certainty. You shall certainly, يعني, you'll have no doubt, zero doubt at that time. Then at that time you will be asked, you shall be asked about the delights. Meaning on that day, you, you will be Questions concerning denying Allah's favors, the delights that He bestowed on you, you will be asked about that. Once this story about Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Umar were sitting, once Sayyidina Abu Bakr. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu was saying, the Prophet came, Ma ajlasakuma huna. What, what did made you sit here? And they said, O Prophet, وسلم, nothing made us come out of our homes except that we were hungry. And Prophet وسلم, said, means, by Allah, what brought me out to is hunger. So they all walked until they came to a house from Ansar, the, where they were received. The Prophet said, where is such and such, the companions? And 
they said he went to get some water so the man came carrying his bag and said welcome welcome nothing has visited in the, the servant of Allah better than the Prophet who has visited me today and the Prophet said Ala kunta shtanayt? Then he hung his bucket near the palm tree and climbed it and returned to them with a cluster of dates. He brought the whole cluster, the whole thing. And Prophet ﷺ, you could have picked some of them. You didn't have to bring the whole thing. This is the generosity of the Arabs. And he said, I wanted you to choose from with your own eyes the best. May Allah forgive us. Inshallah, we hope to carry to finish the tafsir by tomorrow. 